What's up, Disney dudes and dudettes? In this video, we will be breaking down the top five canceled Disney experiences that you didn't know about coming up. Walt Disney World has delighted guests of all ages for many years with memorable experiences and attractions. But unfortunately, some of those attractions and experiences are no longer around. So in this video, I wanted to take a look at some of these experiences and attractions and why Disney canceled them. So grab your Mickey ears and let's get started. Did you know that those iconic phone booths in the UK and Canada pavilions at Epcot actually used to connect guests to callers from around the globe? Yep, back in the day, those were fully functioning telephones with secret phone numbers that accepted live incoming calls. So if you heard a booth ringing back then, you could just pick it up and find yourself chatting with a stranger in Germany or Australia. The numbers did eventually leak online though, and I guess the lines got so clogged that the overseas calling had to be disabled in 2013. Now when you call the numbers, they no longer work. Party poopers. Did you know that on Tom Sawyer Island at Disney World, there used to be a super cool scavenger hunt for hidden paintbrushes? And guess what? If you were lucky enough to find one of those magical brushes, you could score a fast pass for your whole family. How cool is that? But hold your horses, folks, because there's a bit of a twist in this tale. Unfortunately, guests started taking those paintbrushes as souvenirs, and they disappeared back in 2013. Can you believe it? Poof, gone. But fear not, my friends, because rumor has it that the scavenger hunt made a glorious comeback in 2020. That's right, the magic returned and the hunt was on once again. Now the big question on everyone's mind is, will this enchanting experience continue to grace the shores of Tom Sawyer Island? Well, my fellow adventurers, only time will tell. The secrets of Disney World are as mysterious as they are magical. But one thing's for sure, if you ever get the chance to explore that island, keep your eyes peeled for those hidden paintbrushes. Who knows what wonders they might unlock. Another canceled Disney World experience is the Toy Story characters and their famous Andy's Coming drop. Believe it or not, if you uttered the words Andy's Coming to the Toy Story characters, they would drop to the ground just like the scenes from the beloved movies. This meme-worthy trend spread like wildfire across social media platforms, igniting the curiosity of Disney enthusiasts worldwide. However, there were a couple of challenges that emerged. The surge of interest brought on a lot of safety concerns for the cast members and an overwhelming influx of requests from eager guests. So Disney had to make a decision. So the new rule was this, that the Toy Story characters would no longer drop to the ground upon hearing Andy's coming, therefore prioritizing the safety of the cast members. So guys, here's some bittersweet news. Even if you tried saying Andy's coming, you won't get the same reaction that you'd hoped for. and. Don't bother trying, Bonnie's coming. It won't work either. Trust me, others have tried. Did you know right in front of the Prince Charming Regal Carousel at Magic Kingdom, there's this legendary attraction, the Sword in the Stone, and guess what? You can actually pull that sword out. Yup, you heard me right. Whether it's day or night, there's always someone attempting to unleash the power of Excalibur from that iconic stone. And here's the kicker. It's said that only someone with honor, decency, and inner strength can achieve this epic feat. Now here's the scoop. 99% of the time, no one actually has the strength to budge that bad boy. But there's that glorious 1%, and that could be you. A lucky guest, usually someone younger, gets the chance to participate in the sword ceremony a couple of times a day. During this thrilling ceremony, the chosen one defies the odds and pulls that sword out. Well, not all the way, but it rises to the occasion, making everyone gasp in awe. It's a very special moment. Now, let me share a little secret with you. The sword is triggered by a crafty cast member behind the scenes using a remote control. Sneaky, right? But hey, it doesn't take away from the excitement. Many of us have walked by and couldn't resist giving it a gentle pull, secretly hoping that a watchful cast member might just trigger the mechanism. But hold on to your Mickey ears, because here comes the plot twist. In October of 2019, Disney decided to end the current version of the sword ceremony, known as the Royal Majesty Makers. That means, as of now, you can't pull that sword out of the stone anymore. 
It's stuck in there, waiting for its next valiant hero to set it free. Who knows how long it'll be until a guest can release its mystical powers once again. But hey, never lose hope. In the ever-changing world of Disney, you never know what surprises await us around the corner. Next up on our list, let's head over to Hollywood Studios. You may remember way back inside the legendary Chinese theater, there used to be the Great Movie Ride. Now this attraction was truly one of a kind, taking you on a magical cinematic journey through the greatest films ever made. And I'm talking favorites from MGM's vault, like The Wizard of Oz, Singing in the Rain, and Casablanca. But in 2017, after almost three decades, Disney decided to pull the plug for good. Now I know what a lot of you film fans were probably thinking. No way, that's so lame. Why would they close such an iconic part of Hollywood history? Well, one of the biggest deciding factors was licensing. You see, the ride featured scenes and characters from different movies, and not all of those movies were made by Disney. To keep it all running would mean that Disney could have had to deal with complex licensing agreements, which could be expensive and limiting. While it stinks that The Great Movie Ride is gone, I like to think The Great Movie Ride lives on in our memories. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if there's any favorite experiences and attractions you miss from Walt Disney World, I would love to know. Leave a comment down below and please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so you can be notified every Thursday when we have a new video. And as always, have a Disney day.